Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. So delighted to be joined by JJ out here at Oceanside. Great to see you, pal. Great to have you guys out here. We're delighted to be uh, out here. Nothing better than new product time. You know, nothing better coming out here knowing that we're coming out to test some, some new gear. Yep, pretty good weather to test new gear in versus, uh, you know, Canada sometimes. But yeah. yeah, we're very excited. The proc's been doing great on tour mm -hmm. and we're excited to show it to you. Yeah, we bumped into each other uh, a few weeks back when I was in Scotland and it was, it was nice to kind of get a little bit of a a little, you know, early insight into what the tour players were saying and some of the, the changes and, you know, obviously we're filming this guy's pre-embargo, so there's there's no kind of literature really out there yet about what's changed and some of the intricacies, but there are some really cool changes uh, from the I-series uh, into the R-series, um, two, three, and four. Yeah, I think what you saw at the Scottish in the open was how many players are testing all three models. It's not a, right. I'm a three, so I'm gonna stay three. Yeah. And that's kind of what we'll show you today is that, hey, we have some big changes across the family mm -hmm. that really brings it in for different player types. Yeah, awesome. And guys, what's gonna be so much fun for me is, and I never really get a chance to be this side of the camera doing this, is I'm actually gonna get a chance to get fit. JJ's gonna put it through its paces, see if we can get the gamer out the bag and, and just tighten up some of the performance windows from my own driver exactly like you would do with, with your boys on tour. Yeah, we want to kind of show you is that total performance when we're looking at statistics for players yeah. is ball speed's a big component. We want to hit it as far as we can, mm -hmm. you know, that launch and spin, but there also is, you know, that differential be between high spin, the low spin misses, things like that. So it's getting it all to work together. Yeah, yeah. So guys, stay tuned throughout the fit. We're going to be talking about all three heads. I mean, I think, JJ and I off camera have already established, I mean, it's likely to eventually be a three or a four, but we're open-minded enough to know that the refinements to the two is bringing a lot more players towards that type of head, that shape, that level of forgiveness, but with all the performance that goes with it. Yeah, I think when you were kind of looking through, you know, I, I don't think you guessed which head was which each yeah. time you looked down at them <laughs> till you looked underneath. You really stared so, at them. So, um, you know, they've done just a really great job of refining all the shapes and yeah. making some really classically great looking shapes. No, they're amazing, they, they really are. Uh, there's, there's some subtleties, guys, the designs that I think you as the consumer will absolutely love. We as, as fitters, and, and we're gonna be handling the product all day, we love the story behind them that we can then bring to our consumers. So uh, let's dive in, let's do it. How's that look? I honestly can't really tell you a, a, a difference. Okay. I don't, I don't really see like a blown up four or a shrunken, I just, yeah. They're so similar by the shape. Yeah, I'd, I'd be more than happy with either one, to be honest. Yeah, so I think in you, especially when you're, you know, between that forward and back weight, yeah. that this is going to open up opportunities because now we have yeah. lateral CG. For sure. Yeah, 157 and a half, 12.6, 2,500 there. If this didn't come with a lift and spin, I probably would go three based on how much I really can't tell the difference in the, yep. in the you know, the, how it frames the ball, it, they look so similar. You can feel this one's more stable. Like I'm feeling a little bit less. Less on that? Yeah, a little less torque. Do you have 1K black at 45 and a half? Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'd probably like it, you know, sit around maybe 100-ish. Yeah. So falling left on target, mm -hmm. you know, that's gonna be that 94. Right. Gives a little bit of room to cut it and... Yeah, so we'll grab a nine here in a minute, but I think that's gonna be the interesting part is that nine opened up. Yep. Or the eight. So that's... Yeah, just flat. This looks, this looks great. Because I think what we've seen is as we've opened some mm -hmm. too much, your first swing is yeah. really left. Yeah. And so you get in this caught mm -hmm. of Am I trying to cut it, or do I need to release For this sure. to not flare it? So getting your true loft around eight, because yeah. you do such a nice job of launching it without playing with the face angle right. too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you like that little flatter lie for, sure. for your start lines. Yeah. Stock link of features, yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, that, those last two really felt good, stable, yeah, that, I mean, that one was up at 114 feet mm -hmm. at 24 spin. Yeah. So the left, the one that fell left to target was 23.30. Right. The one that fell, fell right of target was 24.50. Got it. So we're 100 RPMs on a fall left mm. versus fall right. So do this for me. 
So obviously we have a nice fairway set up. So in instead of creating height, yep. let's just have it finish um, left center. So there's a white flag and a blue flag. Mm -hmm. Just give me ball land right on that line. Okay. So wind should be about 220, so you're about right here. Got it. So on that swing, did that feel like it turned a little it too did. easy? Yeah. So let's just try the T2 and just give you, because your CG is a little bit more we're used to, where right. this could be that fun one where we start your T2 and you mm -hmm. move back one right. as you start to feel like it can neutralize. I re I, that one felt like just the nice safe one was probably a little down speed, but was just going to fall a little right. Got you. I would say that's... Yeah, back that's in the wind right like there. that. Yeah. But that didn't want to go way left. No. It was just turning. So again, that's the one thing, you know, we tend to see is that'll still have some spin. Yeah. Um, so, so 2100, mm -hmm. when we saw that earlier, it's 18. Yeah. So that's the one where you're still totally. cheering for it a totally. little bit. Yeah, because it's, it's still, it's still got, got enough some lift. on it just to keep yep. it there. And that was what we were saying earlier, that if we can bring that 1800 yeah. up and that 2900 down a little. I would honestly say this is this is right on it for, for what I like to feel and look at and stuff. Like this is this is the package, like a little bit of protection against that. Loft down a little bit, see a little spike in speed. Yep. Still still flighting it through that window that we, we like for height at 96 there. Yeah, and see, now we're in the 60s on that last one. Yeah. Um, so give me one or two more, and yeah. then I want to just show you one or two shafts. Okay. Again, You're just, full Hideki just now. a big miss. Yeah. You're <laughs> full Hideki. Just one arm down the middle. <laughs> 58 ball. At, <laughs> yeah, one, yeah, 158, one-handed. <laughs> yeah, that was 96 feet of height. One-handed at 157 yeah. and a half. With 600 RPM less than it would be yep. pretty much with anything else. But I think I think where you're going, you're gonna end up T1. Mm -hmm. So I think T2's the CG you're used to right now. Yep. And you're gonna creep back one. Definitely. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have any issue with that because looking at looking at where that that stripe pattern is as well, it, it is a little more in than I'm, I'm used to seeing it living a little bit more out in the yep. toe, so T1 would be a little better alignment. Yeah, you're just used to it being so far out. Yeah. Yeah. Again, the stock CG you're used to, mm -hmm. we're center, yeah. your toe, and then you went toe again. Exactly. So that's why we're having to go two clicks. Mm. Yeah, I like that one for sure. A lot of freedom there. Yeah, no, I think, uh, I think that setup, like you say, if, if neutral standard set was at T1, I'd be I'd be over the moon with that. Let me have you just feel the shaft. We don't have it at your length, but this is the new uh, 1K black. Black, yep. Um, so it's just a little stiffer tip profile. Okay. So this this is very and it's interesting the black. So how does how does black compare to white? So it, it's. Stiffer again. Stiffer tip protection okay. than white. With similar, I think it's uh, similar a, couple, handle? Uh, a couple tenths more torque okay. with a stiffer frequency in the tip. Interesting. I don't mind that, so, that window at all. Because the transition can get hard sometimes. Yep. You know, sometimes the counterbalance stuff, they'll soften the tip to yep. try to keep some launch on it. Yeah. And so, you're chasing a head weight to get to a, but I mean, that's at 58 at a half inch shorter. Totally. No, that, that, was, that was pretty good. I like the shape on that. I like how it feels, and it might be, it might, you know, it would maybe require a little more tweaking. It's definitely come down, down. quite a lot, yeah. isn't it? Let's try the T1. T1, yeah. You know, where it just almost, like you have to have it that extra length, that yeah. extra help. Because we've firmed up the tip section mm -hmm. and we've shortened the length. Yeah. So two things helping us not need that extra help. Got it. And if we can get the CG closer to center. So this is, 
again, profile I'm intrigued with for you. Yeah. Where you can just start turning hard and hit just a BB like yeah. that. Yeah. So now we're CG's closer to center. Mm -hmm. We're getting all the ball speed advantages. Yeah. Yeah, strikes really centered. 98 feet right there. Like those four swings, there was literally not even a thought of left. Like if, if anything, just had to retime it on the first two, but for the right, but nothing feeling like it could go left. Yeah, it's a little bit like you described earlier, where sometimes you're almost feeling like yeah. you have to push it hang left. on hang on to it a little bit yeah yeah where those look really free and they look more like your iron move yeah where it just starts straight and doesn't move mm -hmm. so at this length where you can stay on top of it and yeah. hit that tumbly one that's that's way better to feel like i can stay there on it rather than it kind of being a little bit that yeah way. i always think of the severe like if i gave you an inch long iron mm -hmm. you yeah. you're gonna have to back out of it Definitely. versus create all that space yeah, now you're over 159. Just a beautiful little 80 foot BB there. So you can get it stock again. Yeah, 159 at 45 inches. Yeah, no, that's, that felt really good. Yeah, 12, seven, 2,500, 104 feet, 38 degree land angle what you're doing iron swing wise you know i always say we can go two ways we have the little longer build that i think is in a really nice spot yeah or if you and i were going to go play josh for money today yeah it's what i'm putting Stay in your hand because your iron swing looks so clean right yeah, now yeah yeah that everything's nice and plain and it doesn't look changing planes yeah. it's almost like when you get this much head weight mm -hmm. and this much length Definitely. that where that club planes out different swings, you're not as in charge of. No, it, it definitely feels like it. I, I'm not really in charge of if it goes a little left or a little right, but that one where I feel like if I can stay on top of it a little bit, like I don't really like to see that when, when the angle attack starts getting, there's probably on track man three and a half ish, but that's five, five on quad. Yeah. Like that tells me I'm. Yeah, I'm when that pace is moving on. up so yeah. much. Like I'd rather see half of that. Well, that's the thing is when you get that CG too much toe as yeah. well, like you're your hottest spot your, is yeah. toe of center. Yeah. So yeah. as a cutter, we get mm. it too far that way. So being able at that shorter length to be back one click, yeah. get that CG closer to geometric center. Mm -hmm. Now you're a little more in charge of both directions. Totally. Like I still feel like if I can, if I can get a, the ability to stay on top of it and I can dictate that the, the kind of flight window on it, I think I would stay with three yeah. for the little boost in MOI and, and just knowing that there's a little bit more on my side with the lateral exactly. uh, adjustability as well. No, I think that's, I think that as it is right now is perfect. Yeah. I love just the amount of control. And again, mm -hmm. that, like Chris was saying, that spin yeah. stability, instead of seeing that plus totally. or minus five, 600, seeing plus or minus 250, yeah. that's pretty powerful right. around, around. Absolutely. Yeah, that delivery wise, that at three and three, that was, that was nice. Yeah, and again, this is that back-weighted three. Mm -hmm. So if you ever got to where you really wanted that three to go down to one, yeah. the forward-weighted nine. Right. Mm. Choices. Fours is so solid. Oof. Yeah, so this is the minus six four, the plus six back. Mm -hmm. So it's what we would call a three point five yep. setup. But we are. It does seem like we're giving up a little bit on the carry with four versus three. Because you just it brings that yeah. launch window up with yeah. the three for you. Yeah, yeah. We we got to be in that ninety to hundred window, don't we? Again, I think you're back home. Yeah. Versus North America, you might go. Oh, I love loving seeing some of that eighty five feet. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, it's just that couple feet. Yeah, the ball mm -hmm. speed just jumped right back up. Too. Yeah. What was that one? 59, 60? yeah. 59. I mean, that's just so playable. That's That was the shape off the tee most of the day yesterday, wasn't yep. it? Just, that's exactly what Yeah. That's the been, you know, our couple tour players, 
like a Justin Thomas, that's the thing. He yeah. kept commenting, he's like, I know I hit that a couple dimples in. Mm -hmm. And he goes, that should be 27, 28. Yeah. And seeing it hold yeah. at 24, 25, like Perfect. that inside miss, yeah. holding its line, not flaring, mm -hmm. and then holding it spin, it just keeps coming up more and more with tour players. Right, right. I think the heart likes a little bit of the four. Yeah. But the head knows the three is the right one. For sure. Yeah, so say. again, I mean, it's still going to be like for a tour level player, you know, that yeah. bell curve and yeah. the two and the four are knocking off the ends. Definitely. I mean, we're never going to go below 50% on the three on tour because right. yeah. it's such a good yeah. balance between mm. the two. But yeah. that four is creeping in yeah. for more with that back weighted fit because it's close. Yeah. Yeah, so at 45 and a half in the T2 weight, yeah. you, you really are kind of one That's flat right. cut. Totally. You know, versus, okay. hey, if I get out there and feel like I yeah. want to turn one a little bit, yeah. at 45 inches, mm -hmm. your planes are just so much better yeah. that you're now in ownership of the face a little bit. Yeah. And then we don't give up. I mean, the draws were in the low 160s mm -hmm. with um, at 45 inches. Yeah. yeah, I need to have that for sure. Like when I'm, it's nice to have the flat cut, but when that wind turns back into and you've got to, you've got to bring the flight down with it, I struggle to get the launch down enough hitting the flat cut. Uh, whereas if I hit turn it over, I know I can I can bring the dynamic down enough yeah. just by rotating it a little more. And I think that head forgiveness, that's the other thing that'll help is not feeling like when you draw it, yeah. you're going to see a one mm -hmm. as the first number, but yeah. knowing it's going to be a two yeah. to 22, totally. not totally. a 16 to 22. Yeah. yeah, if we were seeing like nine and 22 that way and seeing 12 and 25, you know, that way, that would be a dream. Yeah. yeah, and we were 11, 22 this mm -hmm. way, and we were 11 and a half, 25 that way. Yeah, yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Awesome, thank you, brother. You got it. Thank you, Chris, thanks, pal. Thank you, thank you.